get some healthy linebackers this week? Uh, are you suiting up for me? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I can help you. Okay, well, that's where we at. Uh, guys are working hard, though. Got, this point in the year, everybody's kind of banged up across the country, but our guys are, are uh, you know, sticking with the game plan, just trying to get ready and focus on South Carolina. So. Yeah. How much did, did Faisal help you on, on Saturday? What, what did you see from him? Yeah, he, you know, he, he has a, a familiarity with what we're trying to do as far as game plan and, and what we you know try to implement uh, going forward. And so the recall for him is good. Um, just got to still make a few more plays. I know he wants to make, and but his presence is good, you know, as far as a veteran guy being able to be a leader. He, you can tell his confidence is going up with each practice, each rep, and uh, we need him to step up in a big way this weekend. You see one of the guys, how accurate is it that you guys have basically reverted to the defense they played last year? You know, we, we've implemented a few things that, that uh, the coaches wanted to get in, and that's helped us uh, for sure as far as, you know, guys being able to get off and go play faster and there's some, some things technically that we like a little bit better than what we were doing. So uh, it's, it's just still a good mix of what we're doing. But uh, the recall, like I said, that's what I'm referring to. There are some things that we've done uh, that they did last year that's helped because of the injuries and things that we've had. So. Who, who else has benefited from that switch? Guys like Anthony Sherrills maybe? Uh, Sherrills has, uh, Cam a little bit. Uh, and I think, you know, B. Lee has played a little bit. You know, he's got to make a few tackles that he missed in space. Again, same same thing that we've talked about the last three weeks, but uh, those those guys in particular have, have benefit. I think up front, some of the calls have allowed some of those guys to feel a little bit more relaxed and play a little bit fast without analyzing or overthinking some things. So I think it's helped the front four for sure. What was the process as, as far as Barry, you know, getting a little more involved? Did you approach him? Did he approach you? How that, uh, how'd that I, go He down? approached, and I, I said without, without a doubt, I think, like I said, I, I don't know if it was to you guys, but I mentioned we needed a spark. We needed to have something. Nothing was going, and then we started losing guys. And uh, the, 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 the more we dropped in the depth chart, uh, the, the more we was concerned about them being able to keep up with what we were trying to do. And so it was just kind of a good thing. We had a bunch of guys that had played for them last year. And that just, again, their confidence went through the roof because the recall from what they had done, uh, you know, those guys knew those adjustments a little bit quicker. But we still got a few things that we're doing that we're carrying. But, but definitely because of injuries and confidence and, and a lot of other things, we try to go back to a couple of things that we had done in the past so that he done, did last year. Was there any learning process for you? I mean, not having run that scheme, did, did you have to go back to school at all? You, you know, it's football, you know, and, and once you know uh, the, 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 the ins and outs and how to fix things and what you're trying to do, it wasn't that much more terminology. Uh, you know, he called some things one thing, I called it another. And once I was able to switch the terminology, I could equate it to what I was doing or uh, what we were doing uh, previously, and that kind of helped. And then we carried some terms over that that we had implemented from the spring and, and, and fall camp. So it was a little bit of learning on both of it, his part and my part, to be mm -hmm. honest with you. Did it, it Was it a setback for guys like Kale, who had kind of been working his way in, but he, he's one of the guys who hasn't played in that system before? Yes, yes, for sure. His confidence, you could tell his dabber was down a little bit. Uh, you know, he didn't start the game, and, and I think a lot of it was just simply because we were trying to get a few new things in in a short period of time that he didn't recall as quick as some of the other guys. And so that set him back for sure. But that kid's a, 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 a fighter. Uh, he's fighting his way back and try to get back into that starting rotation. But he, he's going to play a lot just like he did last week. T.J. Warren uh, moving to, to linebacker, yes. nickelback. What do you yep. thought about the way he's adjusted? Well, 10 tackles, he's productive. Uh, he didn't miss any tackles either, so that was even more glaring. Uh, he filled the hole. He was in there. He was active. He was around the ball. Uh, and he's going to continue to have a good role. He played 70 some snaps this week, and he played 70 some the previous week. And so, he's not standing out in a bad way. So he, he that was a great find for us over the off week, and then also just continue to go forward and say, okay, we need this guy because when Newsom went down, second series or something. I mean, it's it's like it's happening. Everything's happening in the first quarter. We get by the first quarter, we got a chance. Uh, but but it was just good to know that he could go in there. Play the run, defend the pass, uh, and make some tackles. So really good, good for us. Did he just get too big for cornerback? I mean, he's a pretty for cornerback. He's like two ten. It is a big guy. You know, the thing is, he hadn't lost a lot of his speed. He never really was a fast, fast corner for us. He was more of a cover two kind of squat corner in the flat. Uh, but but his cover skills and his weight has helped him. Uh, it's a little different when you have to play in the box, but again, he he had back down from that, and uh, he's going you know going to have a very big role for us again this week.
in today's college football, how important is the nickel back or star linebacker or whatever guys? Very. Uh, I mean, like I said, you know, with Newsom down, Therese down, uh, those guys were kind of the nickel backers for us, even though they really didn't have the cover skills of a DB. We asked them to do some of those things. And now having a cover guy makes you a little bit more flexible in your calls and not being worried about cover coverage out there. So it's helped us and allowed uh, us to make a few more calls. We're not as afraid of the coverage aspect of it. Especially the older guys said, you know, they were more confident, they, they felt better playing, but the results obviously somewhat similar. Is it, I mean, is it like riding a bike? Can you pick it right back up or do you expect an adjustment back? Well, I think the one thing that again, guys, it's, it's this is obvious as you good know, out. Doesn't matter the scheme. If you're not tackling, it doesn't matter. You know, when we had two or three tackles that any of you guys probably would go make. And we just gotta get our confidence up in our tackling. Be reassured that we're gonna have better team pursuit to the ball because that helps some of those missed tackles when you got really good team pursuit. And if we can get that done, then really, you know, that that covers up a lot of the mistakes that could happen on every play. So I don't know if it's a scheme thing as much as it is a tackling and a confidence thing. You, you mentioned Kale kind of having his dog.